Hello and welcome. My name is Nell and I come to you all with breaking news in the field of the history of astronomy. The ancient star catalog of Greek astronomer Hipparchus has been discovered, making it now the oldest recorded attempt at mapping celestial objects in the sky. So who was Hipparchus? Hipparchus is easily understood to be among the greatest early astronomers. He worked in the study of trigonometry and even invented the first table of chords, which was used for angles in, this, in a circle of a large fixed radius. He was also a proponent and firm believer in the theory of geocentrism, which placed the Earth at the center of the solar system with the other planets and sun revolving around it. This was actually a popular belief at the time, and it was supported by many ancient astronomers. Additionally, Hipparchus was possibly accredited with the invention of the instrument astrolabion, which was used to measure geograph geographical latitude, as well as the dio dioptra, which was an instrument used to measure apparent diameters of the sun and the moon. One of his best known discoveries, however, is that of the precession of the equinox. Studying, by studying the position of stars and comparing that to early results of star mapping by earlier astronomers of about a century earlier, he was able to uncover that these stars' positions had changed over time. This, we know, is as a result of the wobbling of the Earth's axis, and this is a rotation. This rotation takes about 25,772 years to complete just one. This discovery allowed Hipparchus the possibility of calculating the tropical year, as well as the sidereal year, which is the time it takes the sun to return to its position compared to the background of the stars. He measured both of these things very accurately, only miscalculating by several digits, and all the measurements of the stars that he made were written down in his star catalog, including the position of almost 850 stars. The majority of Hipparchus's original work does not survive to this day, and we only know of his theories as they are referenced in later and contemporary works by other writers, such as Pliny or Ptolemy. This is why the discovery of his star catalog is so astounding. The discovery was made by Peter Williams, a biblical scholar at the University of Cambridge in the UK, who was conducting a study in 2012 along with several students in which they were looking at folios written in the 10th and 11th centuries from the Greek Orthodox St. Catherine's Monastery in Egypt. It was discovered that these folios had been scraped clean of original text and in 2017, using spectral imaging, it was revealed that it had once been ascribed with astronomical material. Radiocarbon dating showed that these texts were made in the fifth and sixth centuries, which intersects with the time period in which Hipparchus was active in his studies. The text reads as a set of degrees constituting the constellation Corona Borealis, as well as mapping the coordinates of many stars, 850, as I mentioned. Other similar texts had been found, and that now they could finally be attributed to Hipparchus himself. It is Hipparchus who many believe was responsible for the shift in the methods of astronomical research in the ancient world. He used quantitative measuring and data collecting in his studies, and according to Matthew Osendriver, an astronomy historian at the Free University in Berlin, his work was instrumental in driving the study of astronomy into a predictable science. The star catalog is a glimpse into the ancient understanding of astronomy and shows that curious minds existed throughout history and research persisted despite many limitations to get to where we are today.